Today in this video, we're going to be doing some civil FE exam review, and we're going to be focusing specifically in on statics. So I do have some practice problems for you all today. And so I want to go ahead and get straight into the content. All right. So I'm going to make myself smaller. And here I have pulled up the FE manual and specifically the civil section. So today we're going to be literally um, talking about static friction. And this is the last section or topic um, in statics. And so if you haven't checked out any of the videos that I made on all of these topics, um, feel free to do so. Um, I do go in detail and have practice problems for each topic so that you're able to literally pass this exam and the concepts all make sense. Okay, so let's get into the practice problem. Okay, it says a 30 pound box with the dimensions shown below is placed on a surface and the angle of that surface is slowly increased until the box begins sliding. At what angle will this occur? So you can see pictured here, we have a box on an angle and they give us the dimensions of the box. They give us uh, theta, which is the angle. So we don't know what the angle is and they give us a static coefficient. Um, okay. So I like to ask myself, can I use the FE manual for this? A question and I'm thinking that this box is going to be sliding and that we will we'll be needing the force of friction that'll be involved because they give us a, a static um, coefficient so I'm gonna say yes I don't know all the formulas behind friction and forces so i'm just going to check my check the manual to see if it has something about friction and static static friction okay so i do a control find and hit next until i find something that wow look at here statics friction okay so it tells us that uh, the force of friction is less than or equal to uh, our static coefficient times the normal force. Boom. Okay. So I just grabbed that and pulled that over here. So um, that should help us out. So the first thing I would do is start by drawing um, like a free body diagram. Now I've already done that here to save a little bit of time. So I have a, a 30 pound basically force coming down and uh, we have the force of friction going up, whatever this is. And then we have a normal force acting perpendicular to our box. So for simplicity and making this problem a bit easier, it's best to go ahead and adjust the axis to help you out. So our Y axis is going to be along the height of our box and our X axis is going to be along this incline. When we do this, the angle that it creates is the same angle that it would create um, with the box um, or the normal force being perpendicular to the box. So um, the reason why this is important as as you lower this, I'm just going to call this a lever. I don't know if that's the proper name for it, but if we lower this lever all the way till it's horizontal, uh, then this angle becomes non-existent, right? Because the normal force is going to be equal to uh, the 30 pound force is coming down. So kind of picture this. So as this increases, this angle is going to increase. Keep going up. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. So now let's uh, kind of find a point.
point of attack. So we can play with angles and forces using like the sum of the forces in the X and the sum of the forces in the Y. So I'm just going to write that out to start, see if that gets us anywhere. All right. So let's do the sum of the forces in the X. That is equal to. Well, we have this negative force friction, and then we also have a positive force of this 30 pound force. Um, and then multiplied by the sine of theta. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So we got this negative force uh, pushing upwards, and then we have uh, this opposite force coming this way. So I did uh, sine because it's opposite over the hot pot noose, which is the 30 pounds. So hopefully you all can see that. Okay. So what is uh, the force of friction? Force of friction is just negative mu. Uh, yeah, so negative uh, mu times n, right? plus 30 sine of theta. Okay, uh, what is mu? Well, mu is a 0.55 in, we don't know what our normal force is, um, plus 30 sine of theta. Okay, so I feel like we've broken this down as much as we can. Maybe we'll be able to figure out um, normal force by getting, um, by using the sum of the forces in the y. And the Y is equal to, well, we got force normal. And then we have minus 30 cosine of theta. Hopefully that makes sense. We got an upwards force, and then we got a, a downwards force, but it's not just 30 pounds, 30 cosine, which is gonna be this um, force coming down. Okay, so um, now if that equals zero, we know that 30 cosine theta is equal to force normal. All right, so that gave us what we needed. All right, so we got our normal force. Uh, we also have it's like some thetas, so it looks like we'll be able to cancel out and get what theta is. That's our that's our only unknown. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna pull this down. So is equal to negative. 0.55 times 30 cosine theta, right? And then uh, plus 30 sine of theta. Okay, 
All right, so we got negative 30 sine of theta. This looks horrible. Uh, is equal to negative okay, point five five. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this over to the other. Well, yeah. Hopefully that made this makes sense. Wait a minute. That doesn't make sense. Hold on. Um, going to undo. I'm trying to do multiple steps all in one. Okay, yes, there we go. So if I do divide by um, cosine of theta. Okay, what's um Yeah, so this cancels out to just sine of theta divided by cosine of theta, which is equal to this got canceled out, so is equal to point five five. And let's see what I get for yeah, so if I take that's just gonna equal tangent, all right theta is equal to point five five, and then if we do the inverse of that. So tan inverse one of point five five, it gives us a twenty eight point eight one degrees. I just want to take a second and talk about the FE civil study guide that I have created for you. In this study guide, I list out all of the different topics that will be covered on this exam. All you have to do is go in and fill out the dates that you would like to study each of the different topics. It also gives you space to write down any important formulas or notes that could be a part of the different topics that will be covered on this exam. Not only that, but you do have a three-part checklist where it goes over, do you actually understand the concept? You can check that off. Have you done enough practice problems for the specific topic? And are you able to solve the problem in three minutes or less? This study guide is meant to help you stay organized with all of this material that is going to be covered on the FE. So if this is something that interests you, be sure to head down in the description box, click on the link under the FE Civil Study Guide. It's going to bring you over to PayPal where you can just input your information. I think it's only like five bucks or so. And then you'll be given access to the 19 page PDF where you can print it off or you can use the digital copy. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you are looking to get some help, um, like some one-on-one -on -one help uh, to pass this exam, um, feel free to book a call with me. Um, I am at the moment taking about two to three. I'm working with a few uh, clients right now, um, but I, I, I am taking a few more. So um, book a call. Um, you can go down in the description box below 
and um, see if we'd be a good fit so that you're able to pass this thing, make some more money, uh, begin to uh, take steps to getting your PE. Um, this, is an, this is a very exciting time and I'm wishing you the best of luck. So I will see you all in the next video. Peace.